In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the code from the blend for web gamepad code snippet, how to use the code to control my monkey robot character, making only a few small changes. In Blender, change Blender Render to blend for web and click Project Manager. Click Hide Stop Projects and create new project. I'm going to call the project My Monkey Robot. Scroll down and click Create Project. Click Back to Projects. Scroll if necessary to find the Monkey Robot project and click the Edit link. Click the link for the JavaScript file, the .js file. I'm going to replace all the code with the code from the code snippet. There's only two things we must be aware of. The assets folder must be in the My Monkey Robot folder. And the JSON file in the assets folder must match the name here. To get the code from the code snippet, in Blender, I'm going to click the button for the SDK index, click Code Snippets, click Gamepad, and click View Code. I'm using a Windows system with Firefox web browser. To select all the code, I can right click Select All or Control and A. To copy, right click copy or control and C, go back to project manager, select all and paste or control and V and scroll up to the top. We must change the name of the folder to my underscore monkey robot. And we must change the name of the JSON file. Click Save to save the changes. The script links to a 3D scene that was made in Blender. And the script links to an object in the scene called Troll Rig and an animation action called Troll Walk B for W Bait. I can either change the names in the script to match the Blender file or I can change the names in the Blender file to match the script. In this example I will change the names in the Blender file. This is the Blender file that I'm using, WarpTut19, which I made in previous tutorials. You can download the file from my website, or you can watch the tutorials and make the file yourself, or you can use any rig, provided you have or can make a walk cycle. The first thing I'm going to do is rename the armature troll underscore rig to match the script. In this file, I move the rig in the Y direction as the walk cycle is repeated. I only want the walk cycle so I'm going to delete the keyframes on the Y location, right click. Delete single keyframe will delete the first keyframe, but clear single keyframes will delete all the keyframes on the Y location. Set the Y location to zero and the total length of the animation to 20 frames, we now only have the walk cycle. I'm going to make the rig smaller. Press S to scale, 0.5 and enter. Set the Z location to 1.28 and enter, and set the view to the camera view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and drag to make the timeline window bigger. 
drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window and make the new window a dope sheet window. Change the dope sheet mode to action editor. The name of the walk cycle at the moment is armature action. To change it to match the script, I have copied the name in the script, control and V to paste and press enter. To see what the monkey robot looks like in a web browser, I'm going to change Blender Render to Blend for Web. Before clicking Fast Preview, in the Object Properties, I'm going to click Apply Default Animation. The mesh objects haven't been scaled, the leg animation is not right, and we get an amber light. One solution to the mesh objects not scaling is to go to the object menu and apply scale, but the scale values will be lost. An alternative method is in the export options. Click apply scale and modifiers, and we'll have to click the option for all the mesh objects. I have jumped ahead and click the option for all the mesh objects. The simplest solution to the animation looking different in the web browser is to bake the animation action. Select the armature in the object menu animation bake action. The data to be baked set to pose. I'm going to click all the options and click OK and click Fast Preview. The animation matches what we see in the 3D view and we get a green light. Before I save the Blender file in the project folder, I'm going to uncheck Apply Default Animation. I want the script to control the animation. And if you want the code to constrain the camera so that it always looks at the character, then you have to change the camera move style to static. I'm not going to change it and I'll talk more about camera options in another tutorial. To save the Blender file in the project folder, File, Save As, go to the Blend for Web folder, the Projects folder, My Monkey Robot, Blender, select the Dummy Blender file and click Save As to overwrite it. To export the 3D scene to the Assets folder, File, Export, Blend for Web JSON. Make sure the path is Projects My Monkey Robot Assets. Select the Dummy JSON file and click Export to overwrite it. Going back to Project Manager, now comes the interesting part of seeing if it works. Click the Monkey Robot HTML link. The animation speed is set too high in the script and we could do with some more lights, but otherwise it works. For the gamepad code snippet, the troll walk cycle animation has a multiplying factor of 3.5, which is high. For the Monkey Robot walk cycle, a factor of 1 normal speed works better. The step affects how fast the character moves forward and needs to match the animation speed of the walk cycle. I found 2 was about right for the monkey robot. The collision radius is how far the character can walk from the center. Put a high value if you want the character to be able to walk anywhere. Save the changes to the JavaScript file and back to Projects. I've added two more lamps to the Blender file and re-exported. Click the link to open the scene. That's the end of this tutorial. Watch my tutorials that show how to control my other characters and have a go at controlling one of your characters in a web browser. To download the files used in the tutorial, visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. 
If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.